Hello world and welcome to Psy Lambda Iota, a world of my own making, yes. Um, <laughs> this is Creeper World 2. Now, that might mean absolutely nothing to most of you. By most of you, I mean the two people watching. Um, recently, I was watching a NerdCube video where he played one of the Creeper World series. For those of you not familiar with it, Creeper World is a game where basically you play on a planet and your mission on that planet is to destroy all the alien goo that's been generated and then destroy the things that generate it. Basically, it's a real-time strategy of sorts. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. The, 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 the bad guy is this inexorably advancing goo that basically just creeps up on you, hence Creeper, I suppose. And eventually it overwhelms the map and your job is to create technologies and energy and weapons to combat this, fight it off, and eventually liberate the planet from this alien invasion force. Creeper World is a... it was, it was a top-down game, you know? It was, it was like any real-time strategy where you play from above on this terrain and you basically try and clear the map. Creeper World 2 was my favourite because it, it sort of... instead of viewing it from above, it viewed it from the side and added depth kind of looks like a platformer and rather than playing against an enemy that's invading the surface you're going into the planet. I'll, I'll show you it all in a moment but I absolutely adore this game and watching NerdCube play it reminded me of it and I just had to go get it. It's 3 dollars on Steam right now so how could I not get it? I mean this game is fairly old. Let's let's delve into it and I'll show you. This 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 is our ship okay this this, this is where we start off. Um, let me Let me just Pause it a moment. Uh, can I pause it? No, I can't. Time is still counting down. Counting down until things appear, so we better get building. So we have this ship, and we have various things that we need to build. We have various systems that allow us to harvest ore, uh, build reactors to get power, beacons to extend our range, develop tech, shields, and micro singularities and stuff to let us uh, cut down the distance between traveling. Because you may, you may notice when I build these things, dots come out. That is energy being expended to build things. Um, we are going to need gonna need we're gonna need well phantoms are coming uh, so we're gonna need phantom coils to beat them uh, that's there's no other way around that uh, bursters attach the creeper right and this is this is the terrain we're dealing with okay this is the land I can build anywhere that is essentially open air but this is all underground and as you can see I can get various access to various things that give energy that's the ore there this I think gives tech I can't remember and this is what we are fighting okay <laughs> this is what we're up against we, we have to get down and we have to kill these things the goo, the blue stuff is the creeper. These things are like little alien creatures that are going to try and kill us. And phantoms come out, and the phantoms can travel through um, and come up and try and attack me. They can travel through the terrain. The creep, the creeper, as you can see, slowly eats away at the terrain. So I'm, I don't have an infinite amount of time to do this. Okay, I don't have an infinite amount of time to sit around and wait to develop and overwhelm this stuff. I need to start planning now because as this fills up and as this becomes more intense, it will eventually work its way up to the surface to try and get me. Now, I can increase the area that I will, that I can, I can mine by doing this, but of course it costs energy and I have a limited amount, so I do need to work on that. I, 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 I can develop various techs to help me increase the range and speed and power of all of my various things. Uh, let's build another, let's build another phantom coil because it never hurts. Never hurts to have two, okay? And basically, I need I need the reactors. The more reactors I have, the more energy I have access to. The more I build at once, the more energy it costs. Let's speed things up a little bit. And you obviously have to balance building with the energy you can supply versus you need to supply power to weapons. See, these weapons are fully charged now, but once they're uncharged, they're useless. So I can't just build a weapon and that's it. It fires indefinitely. I need to power the weapon. So this energy goes towards everything. Everything. Absolutely everything, and it, it just it just becomes a see. Here's the phantoms. Oh god, oh god, is that going to be in range? Just, just kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <gasps> and that explodes and develops, cre uh, deploys creeper everywhere, which is unfortunate because that that stuff now now that, that that's killed, that's going to kill all of my reactors. Uh, right, we need to build a new one. We need to build a new reactor. Otherwise, we're going to have no power. Let's just uh, pause, please. Uh, deactivate. Put in there, if you will. I mean, fortunately, my, my ship generates power all on its own, so you know you're never completely out of power. But this has hugely, hugely set me back. Uh, right, we are going to need to place that possibly there and that possibly there, give them a bit of overlap. Right, we need to rebuild everything that has just been destroyed. 
And that has obviously taken time, and time means the creeper's getting closer to get out. And this stuff comes out with a vengeance. I mean, gravity, as you can see, is pulling it down, but... Oh my god, we need to get down there and destroy these gates. The phantoms come through these gates. We need to put an end to that. Uh, let's build another one, because we, we're going to need to... We, we really are going to need to destroy these things. This is not good. This is not good. Go on, power it, power it, power it. These things are a huge threat. They're the only thing that can get through to us at this point. So we are going to need to keep an eye on them. Right. Come on down and kill the creeper. Kill the creeper! Good advice. Yeah, that's a p p applicable in Minecraft as well. So, let's just bring the coils down a bit. Put them here. Uh, I can move my ship as well, by the way. I can move that further down. And obviously, the, the, the light that you can see, that is the visible range of the things I can do. Okay? Above the visible range. Okay. I'm evening this out a little bit. Uh, we're going to build a shit ton of these things, and I should probably start researching soon. Uh, research will let me advance all kinds of things, and just, just improve my situation immensely. Uh, that thing there. Yeah, uh, a beacon allows me to extend my range, so everything that you would see there, I would then be able to uh, build in. Which would be nice. I like creating terraces like this as well, because it's, it seems to maximize the surface area I can build on. Uh, but as you can see, once you're low on energy, it's not a lot you can do about it. Come on, kill it, kill it. Right, you guys are going to need to come there. I'm keeping up. I mean, the, the, the attacks come quite regularly. As you can see, the score drops the longer you take as well. I don't mind playing the long game. I'm not in it for the score. I'm in it for the fun. Right, and this game is most definitely, definitely my definition of fun. There we go. That'll give us access to some ore. Uh, access to ore is important because, well, you know, you need to build things. <laughs> the, 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 the ore you use to create your own creeper, your own sort of anti-creeper. Uh, using, there we are, using, using this maker, okay? These makers use the anti-creeper, and the anti-creeper destroys creeper upon contact. Well, they, they annihilate each other, kind of like matter and antimatter. And, you know, the, the advantage of having the anti-creeper is... It, it stops the creeper coming up, you know, you can build up huge pressures behind these things, so... You know, it's a case of just, just just getting on with that. And, you know, just 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 doing it, just do it. Yeah, I've just turned the music off, because that was starting to annoy me. I mean, it was... I, I don't know about you guys, but it was really loud in my ear. Really loud. Right, we're going to build another phantom coil over here, because I've just noticed that this area is largely unprotected. Uh, now, the more of these things we have, the better. I mean, th because the phantoms only come in waves, it, it, these don't actually consume a lot of power. These things do once you start... Um, I mean, the, the blasters do once you start really mining down to where the creeper is. It becomes an issue. Right, should we, we, should, we just say it becomes an issue. Um, more power, if you please. Right, I need to consider... I'll move that just a little bit that way. And put a beacon there. I like putting beacons on the side of things because it means that they don't then uh, take up too much space. I mean, I, I can't build the power plants, the, the the reactors on the side of things. You know, some things can be built upside down on the side. Reactors aren't one of them, so it's a good place to put the beacons to keep them out of the way. You see, by building like this, it stops them from sort of getting in the way of building other useful things. Not that they're not useful. Right, we can create, we can mine some ore. We can also, now, if I click on this, get that, and that is a nano chip. That should give us some tech knights. That gives us 15 research to play with, which would be nice, you know? Be very nice. Uh, let's just move that down. Uh, let's, just, let's just add this in. There we are. The, the crystals are energy, by the way. The, cri the crystals are most definitely energy, and energy is useful. <laughs> Hey, we've got research. Right, so what should we research? Uh, increase energy storage. That'd be useful. That'd be very useful. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's increase that. All, all the way if we can. Yeah, we can. There we go. Fully upgrade that. So we can now store 220 energy. A good stockpile to have. You can never have too much energy. <laughs> honestly. Honestly, you just can't. It's just... It's just the most useful thing, right? And let's get a crystal. Let's go. Get that thing. Is it a crystal? Yeah. Uh, that'll give us 200 uh, crystal reserves, which will be added to this. It it, it doesn't... Re our storage capacity doesn't affect... I mean, the crystals are energy, but they're added in addition to the storage capacity. That one will give us 80. So you see, different colours are worth different amounts. Off on the way. 
Uh, what I think I will do next is actually get some technology developing. That'd be useful, wouldn't it? Let's get let's get a tech dome. Uh, there we go. Build a few of them. Yeah, we're on top of this. We are on top of it. Right, I'm going to move that down to there. And I'm going to move that one down to there. Yeah, it's... <sighs> Hmm. Right, we got we got this all. What I what I, need, what I really need should do is I, sh I should have a couple of makers. Cause maker, makers are interesting in that you can have them charge with it. So you know you, they've got vacuum, so they'll suck stuff up and you'll get all back. It's, you don't get all of it back. Oh, they'll charge and that'll slowly fill up, and then you can burst it. Okay, and when you click burst, it just poom all vanishes out in one huge burst, and you get anti creeper everywhere. Or you can just have them on constant produce. Really useful weapon. Cannot stress their usefulness enough. Yay, we're developing technology. Let's put... Uh, now, oh, oh, yeah, that's the thing. Each one of these that I build costs more. You'll notice down here, it gives you the build cost. So that one's 25, that one's 30, that one's... That one's 35. And the more I build, the more expensive they get until it reaches the point where it is just ridiculously expensive. But I've got this huge crystal reserve, so I can afford to build a lot of them. Here we go. So if I... that By this point, I'm up to a cost of 90 for them all. I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely nuts. There we go. Um, but they're well worth having, because the more tech you have, the better they are. Increased packet speed. These, I should say, these things are called packets. And obviously, the further they have to travel, the longer it takes to build things. So packet speed is helpful. But then in the end, you can always just... If I build that, okay, I build that right underneath my base, uh, when it's complete, packets can go into it and come out of any other one. That then becomes an immediate transfer. So if I build one here, that becomes an immediate transfer between there and there. So if I have any weapons here, the packets will vanish into that, come out there, and appear there instantly, rather than travelling the long distance around. So the quicker packets get there, the quicker you can respond to things. The quicker things charge. See these going around here now, going to there? If I had a little portal there, it'd just go boop, boop, and into there. How awesome would that be? That'd be really useful. Ooh, look, the creeper is filling up. Look at that. That is ridiculously full, and that is... Huh. It seems that, I mean, the, the solids... Okay, so it won't eat away at the solid stuff, apparently. It'll eat away at this cracked terrain, but it won't eat away at anything else. That's fascinating. I, I forgot about that. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, you know, I, will, I will confess to forgetting that. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just, just, just completely sitting around. Right, here we go. Let me just get my terrain leveling thing going properly. Okay, I like doing this because I think it gives me the most to work with. Now, the trick to getting down here will, of course, be all of the beacons. All the beacons that I will use. Uh, that'll come down that way, we'll come down that way, we'll come down that way. Yeah. So that's handy. Uh, let's put a beacon... Actually, a beacon here makes sense, and then when that's excavated, I'll put one there as well, and that'll, 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 that'll cover it. Right, more technology. Look how quickly we're accruing technology as well. Let's let's add some more power. You know, I mean, the more power you have, the better, the better, the stronger, the more powerful you will be. <gasps> Shit. Okay, okay, so this, this stuff is going to be now damaging everything. We need to get down there and attack it. Crap. Okay, I didn't think that through. Uh, these things were not far enough down to actually protect me from the creeper. And packets can't travel through it. That's the other thing. Alright, let's get down there and get down there. There you go. We we need we need we wanna we wanna protect this stuff. We wanna we wanna we wanna not have any damage right. A missile launcher is useful as well. Why? Because missiles will fly around corners. The missiles are like heat seeker, or I suppose creeper seeker. Come on, get in there, attack it. Thankfully, things self repair as well. Packets will be sent down to repair the damage that that got dished. There you go. Uses energy, energy to fix itself. Come on, come on. Now I have found one good thing to do to protect your holdings is uh, produce creeper down here. You produce your own anti Oh god. Oh god. Um, this isn't good. There we go. Yes. That's it. Thank you. Okay, that worked. That helped. So what we'll do is we will excavate this and we will fill it with anti-creeper. 
just just dig it out. And, and as you can see, the packets will not go down through the creeper. There we go. Because that creeper will drain away all the way to the bottom. That's the other good thing about creeper. It drains away. Right, let's add more phantom coils. Let's put a couple there just to fend it off. Let's move that one down. Uh, move that there. And we will add a whole butt ton of these. So that severely damaged our ability to research. Severely damaged our ability to research. And here come more phantoms as well. Alright, uh, let's just charge. Let's just have them all on charge. It's a shame you can't mass select things. Well, I suppose you can. There should be a way to mass select things. Uh, I think you can. There we go. I, 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 I forgot that was a thing as well. It's been a long time since I played this game. Very long time since I played this game. Oh, we have a shit ton of technology as well. Okay, let's increase the beacon range. Yes. 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 Decrease the unit cost. Yes. Increase ore storage, because you can never have too much ore. Although, we'll be using it all, because these will be slowly filling up as well. Right, now, the way I want to do this... Uh, shields, very useful shields. I'm going to put shields all the way along here, because shields keep in creeper. They also stop my anti-creeper from escaping in a direction I don't want it to. So, uh, I don't want it to go back up. I want it to keep going down. When I, when I eventually pulse it all out and let it escape, that's the way I want it to go. Right, let's rebuild our research ability a little bit. There we go. And move that down a bit. There we go. So we will defend ourselves. We will we will successfully defend ourselves. Let's mine some more ore whilst we're here. There we go. Can we have too much ore? We're still using more power than we're producing, and we are nowhere near the research capacity we were at before. Let's move you to there. <sighs> come on, come on. There we go. Would that be useful? There we are. Right. Uh, you can increase the range of your weapons as well. That would be beneficial. But you need to get the research up and going first. Uh, and we have no power. Awesome! How cool are we? Uh, more tech there. Harvest that. And we are this close to making a breakthrough down here. So when, when we break through down there, because you can see how strong that is, that number there, the creeper density, the more density is, the more it'll poof up out of there. So we want a whole shit ton of anti-creeper waiting to go down on it. Yeah, we want we want the weight of our anti creeper to crush the creeper, or at least keep it at bay. That'd be most beneficial. There we go. That should help us with the research. Although we are now going to be running seriously low on power. Oh yeah, one thing to mention about these as well: they don't just function as a means for your packets to travel. Your weapons can travel through them too, but the enemy also can. So it becomes important to uh, properly protect your ship. Um, so I will put a few blasters here. Just in case any enemies ever decide to try and come through. Because they will, and they are devastating. So it helps to have a line of defense. Uh, let's, just, let's just deactivate all of these right now. Uh, just, just Let's finish, finish building the research thing so we actually get some power. Always beneficial. Actually having power. <laughs> Good to have power, because nothing works without it. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I mean, you can you can disarm, which means they just won't fire, but they'll still receive power. Or you can... Well, you, you can activate and deactivate, which just turns them off completely, so they won't fire and, and they won't request energy. It's a good way of saving energy when you've got huge building projects like this. Because you can see my energy deficit is enormous. I love how it's the, the thing at the top is there until you hover over it and then it vanishes. So I can't actually point at it. There's the energy. Oh, no, it's hiding. There's the energy. Oh, no, hiding. Energy deficit is nine. So, I mean, I think that's a demand that you've got but aren't fulfilling. Energy production is 9.1. Energy usage is hovering between nine and ten. So it's, it's a bit of a struggle. I will eventually fill that entire row with reactors. As you know, it's, it, it's good to have reactors. Reactors help. Reactors are useful. Oh yeah, what did I just... I didn't mean to click on that. How did I click them all at once? How did I do that? How did I... Right, uh, let's let's get all of these. There we are. And activate. Build them! Build them, we have the power now. 
And uh, let's just fill this with reactors. Yeah, we, we will have the power. I got the power. So as things get further and further down, you'll find it, it, do, it does take a lot, lot longer for the uh, things to get there. These packets, as you can see. Once I have that weapon in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there. And you will see how quickly things fly through once I start building things down at this level. There we are, Phantom Coil. Kill, 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 kill. <gasps> Almost run out of power. That's never good, right? Just deactivate that and I'll demonstrate. Uh, oh, right. It's, it, okay, so that didn't work. Uh, activate it again. Well, next next time a phantom comes down, you'll you'll see, because uh, we'll be able to destroy things. Uh, no, that's... no, wait, one, two... Yeah, okay, I want it there, don't I? There you go, look, it's coming through there, did you see? See how, see how much quicker that was? Right, let's uh, let's put another phantom coil there and another one there. And we are building tech, we are developing tech, increase weapons range, increase, increase, increase weapons range. There we go. Proof tech drone efficiency, tech, tech dome, means we'll just research faster. More power! So yeah, things can now travel through there, which becomes worrying and troublesome and problematic at times. Uh, I'm going to build another, another, another one. Now, one thing I haven't used yet is the nullifier. The nullifier works on destroying these, which is where the creeper comes from, and destroying these, which is where the phantoms come through. And the repulsor. The repulsor is useful when you're first breaking through because the repulsor pushes away the creeper. Okay, It doesn't push away the enemies, but it pushes away the creeper. And that is useful in that it gives you an opportunity to properly defend yourself. I am going to excavate this area here. Okay, And then I'm going to bring these things down into it. But first, I'm going to fill this with weapons. Okay, I'm going to put a shield there, a shield there. Then I'm going to build one, two, three, four, five blasters, two launchers. I'm going to put a repulsor there, facing down short. Right. See all the power we're sucking up now. And then, there you go. Then bring these down. Bring that down. Uh, I'm also going to need phantom coils, aren't I? Phantom coils to protect from the uh, phantoms. Because they're going to come up and they're just going to fill that with stuff and it's just going to destroy me. Right, now the repulsor is fascinating because you can point it in any direction you want. You know, it even goes diagonally, which is amazing. And you can increase the length of it. Now the longer it is, the less force it has. So if you do short, it's really, really short, but it's really, really intense. Which is useful, you know, you want short and intense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> innuendo, in your endo. But, um... Yeah, short and intense is often useful, especially if you've got two one on top of the other. So if I put two there, both pointing down, it really, really improves the effect. There we are. And I can't believe we had enough power to do that. That's amazing. Right, uh, we are, of course, going to need to excavate this and then keep going, because we've got to clear the whole thing in order to win the level. The whole thing needs clearing. Right, there we go. And now, where's the... There we are, put the shield there. And then there. If I just fill this with shields, right, the enemies will, uh, once once they're liberated, they, they, these will all make a beeline for the hole I've created. Which, you know, I mean, you, you'd expect them to. They want out as much as I want in. That's fine. That's just the way things go sometimes. Let's build another repulsor there. Um, but it means I have to be thoughtful of that. Now, shields absorb damage, okay? Each time an enemy crashes into it, one of these will get destroyed. But it slows them down. Because if they get to there, that, 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 that's, that's bad news for me. Very bad news for me if they make it as far as that. Because if they're in there, it means they get up to this. And if they get up to this, oh, I'm done for. So what we can also do is this. You know, just, just surround that with uh, things. Let's destroy that and destroy that. Yes, we lose out on some stuff. But if the enemies do get through, at least they're contained. Or fairly well content. It gives a bit of opportunity for these to defend me. If I can move that even further away, because I've got the beacons down there. Yeah, because the beacons are down there. I mean, they're not going to make it that far, because I'm too well defended. They just won't get that far. But why take the risk? I mean, it's a good, good to demonstrate exactly what I'm trying to achieve. Right, I am going to produce 
I'm going to burst all. Okay. And I am going to bring these down as well. Bring these into here. There we go. Now that is filling with creeper. It's not particularly high density, but that's, that's, that's sometimes just the way it goes. Uh, using up a lot of the ore there. Use it all. Was there another one? There wasn't. Not a lot of ore to mine, to be honest. So we're going to have to be careful about how much we use this uh, stuff. Okay, and we've got, wow, we've got a shit ton of research. Okay, tech dome, yes, tech dome, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Reactors are a good one, you know, more power, faster packets, or storage. Well, we're not really mining enough to store loads. Uh, that's filling up. Oh, yeah, the, these these repulsors will also force my, uh, or my, my, or my, my creeper down, so that's a bonus. And these things will fire into there, like, like mofos. They just, they just will. There we go. Right, come on, double click. Burst all and produce. That is now going to be really, really full. Yes, that can almost compete with... In fact, that, that will outcompete that. So let's just... Let's go for it. Go! Get rid of that. And then watch what happens, guys. Oh, just hold it off for the time being. Wait till that's built. There we go. And we have now ran out of ore, so we are not produce we're, we're not going to be producing creeper anymore until we can get our hands on these things. There we go, look, they're in. The missiles come in, and as you can see, these things are coming for me now. Yeah, they are. But we're on top of it, we're on top of it. They will also take damage as they try to travel through my stuff. My gunk will uh, do them harm, which is nice. Yes. It's always nice when your gunk tries to protect you. Um... Yeah, so I need to get down there and kill that, because these things will keep spawning in, until the point where I uh, am able to do something about it. Uh, right, let's build that, bring that through. Oh yeah, and anything that comes in contact with these things will be killed instantly as well, I should point out. And they will try and destroy things. They will fly into objects to try and kill them. So they are actively trying to harm me. You know, they, they, they won't just try to get to my base, they will fly at anything of mine that potentially gets in the way. So they're vicious little buggers. You know, they're, they're very vicious little buggers. Right, we want to get a nullifier there. And they will fly at the nullifier as well, which is fascinating, you know. I'm not going to say the AI in this game is complex, but it's certainly driven. <laughs> it certainly wants you dead. You know, I, to a certain degree, I can sympathize, right? I am going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to put a shield there. So it'll stop the R coming through. The R. The, the creeper stuff. And then what I can do is I can clear that path. Because I don't want the creeper leaking down there. I want the creeper going that way. I want the creeper going that way. Uh, there we go. And then if I bring these in as well. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's working. All right. We're building the phantom coil. Because it never hurts to have a few extra there. The repulsors will eventually completely evacuate that of the uh, goo as well. So if I... Move that one to there, and then change its orientation that way. Because gravity is pulling the goo down. I don't need repulsors up top, sending it out. But what I do want is I want repulsors pointing that way, so it's driven towards that gap. And then that one there, feeding it that way. And then one up here. Because I'm not, I'm not trying to keep that in anymore. I'm trying to push my stuff out. So if I do that, that should force all of that in that direction. And you can tell, because the darker the color, the more dense it is, obviously. So that's helping. Sending it that way is helping. And it's a good way to drive the goo around. It really is. Right, nullify. Can I get an... Yes, I can get a nullifier close enough. Only just. Only just. And these things will fly it and try and kill it. And we don't want that. We don't want our things to die. Come on, guys. Yeah, look at that. The creeper stuff is working. And uh, now demo, uh, destroy that. Because I mean, you build a shield on where my creeper stuff is. And it essentially just holds it there. Okay, it holds it there. And uh, that means it's useless. I mean, it will just sit there till the end of the game. And I don't want to do that because I want to use it. <laughs> uh, right, let's put that there. Beacon good. Right, oh, look how quick. Look, look how much we're doing. We are doing really well. Developing. I, I always save the weapons to last because it feels like there's, there's no point having the weapons fire faster if I can't get the energy quick enough to them to maintain the fire rate. Just strikes me as pointless. Missiles are great at breaking down the density as well. So if I move them there, oh look, they're in a cross as well. This has now become a holy war. Let's bring my missiles down. Come on. Get these things down there and in place. 
They can reach that. That's fine. Good. As long as they're stopping these things from getting close. Because I say these things get destroyed. And once they're destroyed, I don't have any more. I have to build them. So I would run out of them. I would run out of the blasters. I want to get this stuff down there. Right. We need to start vacuuming. Let's start clearing up this creeper. Because the, the, the missiles and stuff should handle it. They should be able to handle it. And we want we want to we want to store the R. Oh, actually, that's not going to work, is it? We can't all vacuum. Why can we not all vacuum? Let's uh, charge. Apart from you, who will continue to vacuum, and you also will continue to vacuum. But if we move you down here so that you can vacuum that up, have you vacuum? No, come on, move. There we go. Takes its time. Right now, let's nullify that uh, weapons. There we are. Let's nullify this. Okay. And then bring these here. I want to save as much of this as I can. I want to save as much of my creeper as I can because it'll uh, be useful for other things. Come on, come on, come on. Fire, 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 fire. Ooh, see, I'm letting my phantom coils get too far away. It's proving dangerous. Uh, right, we need to get down here. So I want to, again, excavate a fairly substantial area there. And then a fairly substantial one right here. Just so I can get to it. There we go. Okay. So these things are now... Hmm. Move that up there. Move you down there. Extract that. I'm going to destroy that one. Cause... Oh, ooh, didn't know it'd do that. Alright, it sucked it up and apparently that was uh, some of the ore storage. Didn't know that. See, I'm learning things about the game that I didn't know I didn't know. Which is fascinating. Okay, so you're hoovering that up. You're hoovering that up, and these things will slowly fill. Which is fine. You know, that's useful. Right, get them over there, get you over here. And uh, we're going to need a beacon down here, aren't we? Beacon can go there. Just need to extend our reach further down. Just need to get into the right places. Uh... Get you in there. There's no power there, so I can't get in there yet. Come on. Getting power to that. I, I should probably create another one of those singularities as well. The rift, that's what it's called, isn't it? Build a micro rift, and we'll put it there. Okay, and now mine down. Perfect. Okay. Uh, more phantom coils, if you please, because the phantoms are the biggest threat. Once we've destroyed all the gates, the phantoms will stop coming through. But since the gates are generally the last thing to be destroyed, because you need to get the creeper away from them, the only way to get rid of the creeper is to destroy the creeper maker. Well, the emitter, I suppose. That's always the last thing you do. So the phantoms will be the last thing I kill, essentially. Essentially. Doesn't always quite work that way in practice, but... Let's get down there. Let's get down there. There we are. Right, you guys. Do you know what I'm going to do it without the repulsors for now? I think at this point the repulsors are probably superfluous. Uh, no, we want get up there and e extract it. There we go. Right, down you guys come, and we want you guys in here as well. Uh, maybe I need to extract a bit more. So I want the shield there. Oh, God damn it! One of the one of the things is going there, isn't it? Come on. Where the fuck are you? Going? Right, you get over there. There we go. Shield right there. So that'll keep the creeper contained. Uh, let's just burst all. There we are. We don't have a lot left. <laughs> uh, hmm. Can we finish off the tech? Uh, actually, let's do, now now we've got everything. We can let's do the weapons tech. We don't need all storage. I mean, we can we can research it just so we've got the full research. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's click that. Don't care about confirming. Let that finish and bring that in. Okay, so let's do this. Poke a hole in it. Go on, go on. There we go. <sighs> See how quickly it comes up and it starts. Wait, it hasn't started doing damage, but it's pretty damn close. It takes a lot of effort to lower the density, especially when it's like almost, well, almost a third of a million. That's a very dense creeper, but, you know, we're having an impact. We're having an impact. Boom, boom. There we are. Yeah. 
Well, we're not really going to be able to use the creeper much, our, our own anti creeper anymore. We've, we've kind of done that, haven't we? So let's destroy them. Let's replace them with useful weapons. There we go. Boom. I'll do. Just all these weapons. And, you know, we're barely making a dent on our energy consumption. I mean, we are, we are sucking some up, but all is going well. I feel all is going well, anyway. Uh, we're getting in there. Let's let's get some weapons down in that gap. Actually, I'm doing that. Why, why, why not just do that? <laughs> just get rid, of the, get rid of the dirt that's in the way. There we go. And then just start advancing. Like that. They just bring the things down. One step at a time. It's kind of like, you know, you know the uh, 19th century firing, uh, well, you know, the way they used to do the, the infantry, the, uh, oh, what's it called? Rank and file. Uh, yeah, where they used to, the infantry used to, you know, sort of take turns firing rows. Oh, I don't know. I f I've forgotten what it's called because my brain is just going, derp, derp, sval, derp. Like, yeah, I'm the biggest derp. I am the biggest derp ever. Oh, wow. The creeper thing. Killed it. There we go. So we accidentally killed that thing first. Nice. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Get closer. Get closer. Things are taking their sweet time building this. Man. It all takes research as well. So that's just going to build up indefinitely now. I am at maximum technology. Okay. Come on. Oh, that's that's not what I meant to build. I built the wrong thing, didn't I? I built a, a rift. Oh! I, don't, I want to build a nullifier. Let's, right. That's no good to me. Damn it. <laughs> so I'm an idiot. Turns out. Just confirming what we already knew there. Oh, what a moron. Okay, come on. There we go. Nullifier. Yes. One more to go, guys, and then we are done. Just one more. Right, let's, uh, let's get the phantom coil down there. And that one down there. And then what we will do is we will come down this way. I mean, this, this is going to go absolutely nuts, because this is really, really... I mean, look at that. 1591K. This is going to go absolutely bonkers trying to get out of there. Uh, so I'm going to... I'm going to increase... I can't do that because that's built on it, isn't it? I'm going to move these things out of the way and I'm going to build a, a couple of... Repul well, three repulsors there just to try and keep the pressure on. Because I can see this being a problem. I can see this being a very, very serious problem. That's going to come gushing out and it's going to try and kill us. I suppose a shield there would have been good as well. Just, Just let us get a handle on things. Hmm. Hey, well, let's take that out there, build the shield in that gap, because it, it won't seep out diagonally, which is odd if you ask me. Uh, let's move that to there, we'll move that one down, we'll move him across, we'll move him up. Uh, we'll move that across, we'll move that up, and we'll move him in. Okay, so we've got the shield and we've got the repulsors, which should help out quite a lot. Uh, let's create a gap there. Boom, boom, boom. We want, we want to make sure that it's just all weapons here. Just all weapons that can do serious damage. There we go. Missiles can get round there, but these things are... Lasers only fire line of sight, because, you know, light only travels in a straight line. Right, are we ready for this? Let's, uh... Let's open a new rift there. Just makes it a bit... Gets there a bit quicker, yeah? If I deactivate that, look how long it takes stuff to get round. Has to go the long way. Through there, if I deactivate that one as well. Oh yeah, look at it travel. Right, let's activate that and then reactivate that and you'll see what I mean. So that's popping through there again. It essentially doubles up, so it feels like it's getting done quicker when in actual fact it's not. Right, we can get rid of that one now. Okay guys, are you ready for this? Final countdown. Three, two, one. Potato. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it came up. It's not damaging the shield. <gasps> Or is it? Yeah, it is. Look, look, look. Can you see the health in the bottom right there? Taking taking damage. Taking some damage. But hopefully, yeah, we're, we're, we're yes, there we go. We destroyed it. We, we decimated that. Okay. That shield. 
They slowly regenerate. But, uh, yeah, we'll worry less about that. We'll uh, get our things down there into the gap. Into the fray we go. Let's, let's just let's, let's destroy that shield. We're not, we're not actually going to need it now. Its purpose here is complete. <gasps> oh, that was close. That was very close. Right, let's let's get a nullifier in there. Destroy it. And, uh, yeah, basically protect ourselves. Right, get rid of all of them. Don't need the repulsors anymore. Served their purpose. You served me well, repulsors. <coughs> this final, final stand isn't as dramatic as I thought it was. If I had to put that in the right place, I could have destroyed both at once. And there we go. No more phantoms. You see, the countdown's gone. We are just that far ahead of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo. Right, nullifier. Get in there and kill it. Kill the thing. Do the stuff. Do your stuff. Kill everything. Right, bring these things down. Put them there. So they have less distance to fire. You know, it works out better in the long run. Creeper doesn't travel through rifts. It's worth mentioning. You know, if I, if I put if I put a producer right there, it wouldn't seep into that and then pop out all the other holes. Which I think is unfortunate, because that'd be cool. You know, just, just have this whole spewing white creeper everywhere. That's still living there. I wonder why that's dangerous and that isn't. Because it's mine. It's my own special kind of creeper. My own special creeper. Come on. Wait, oh, the nullifier got killed. Right, alright. Put it there, then. Build it. I didn't even notice it had been destroyed, and that's slowly being overwhelmed. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Power up, power up, power up. Here we go. Zap, 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 zap. And... Ooh, boom. There we go. Victory! And the ship vanishes off to the next world. Which is a throwback to the actual... Oh, my God, look at that graph. There is an actual campaign mode. You go from world to world, saving it. Yeah, re return without submission. But I prefer to randomly generate them. Um, that is difficult to do. <laughs> that is very difficult to do. Uh, you can play, you know, really tiny worlds, large ones are huge ones. I played large on medium complexity. Go play it, guys. Go download it. It's on Steam. It's only three ninety nine, and it is well worth it. Hours of mindless fun right here. Let's see. Look, random missions. Worth floor some. That doesn't sound like a planet name. Play here floor. Toy in go. This top as far. Red play again. Well, that's that's that, that's interesting. Let's uh, banana. Yeah, that is a banana. <laughs> yeah. Till next time, guys. Take care. Have fun and ta-ra. If you enjoy my efforts to be vaguely entertaining, you can now support me on Patreon. A dollar, a pound, a yen, a euro, whatever you've got, whatever you can spare, all helps. Over a million fed. Thank you for watching, and ta-ra.